Okay. Uh, welcome to Tier List Schmear List. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today we're doing Zelda games, but I've only played like four. Starting off with the original Zelda. I played this one. Um, it's pretty fun. I'm gonna put it in uh, C tier. Uh, next, we got Link's Crossbow Training. Uh, it says it all in the title. Honestly, that's an S, let's be honest. It fell off, so. Uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, yeah, I'd like a synopsis. I went down to the local McDonald's, but... Hey, that game honestly sounds pretty good. I'm gonna throw an A. Next up, Twilight Princess. Synopsis. Oh, I've seen your wolf. Hawk Companion, that's an S tier. Uh, next, we got Breath of the Wild. That's another S tier. Uh, I've actually played this one. It's fire. Um, wind bombing. Oh, uh, next up, we got Link's Awakening, the new one. It, both, or did you? Uh, Link's Awakening, I played it on the GBA and I got bored, so. I'm gonna throw it in D tier. C tier, C tier, it's in C. Okay. The Adventure of Link. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first F of the day. Oh yeah. It's gotta go take, take some steps. Up and down, up and down. The gentle F. Uh, Minish Cap. What's this game about? Um, it's actually, it's developed by someone not Nintendo, so it's like a different kind of Zelda. It's pretty much the same. You find a talking cat, you can go through the It sounds interesting. I'll put it in B. Majora's Mask? It's like Ocarina of Time, right? Ocarina of Time, but worse. We're, actually, here, we're gonna do... We're gonna do Ocarina of Time first. Okay, Ocarina of Time. I have played this one before. And it's an F tier. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Dude, just switch. Y'all just stand behind the camera. Okay, Majora's Mask. You, nothing can be worse than Ocarina of Time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a uh, B. Yeah. Uh, a Link to the Past. This is the sec third Zelda game. I, and it's the third one I've ever played. And my teacher let me play it in class when I was doing end of year testing. So just for that, I'm gonna give it an A. And it was like fine, but like it's better than doing nothing. That's S? That's S. It's not an S to B, bro. It's not. Oh, you said it should be an S. Yeah. All right. Uh, a link between worlds. I need a synopsis on S -tier, this. S tier, bro. So you become 2D and you can run through walls. It's actually a good one to take after this one. It's the, the same world as. Um, there's, there's a dark world in but I play this. It's an S. Okay, that, that actually sounds interesting. Should I play it? Do you think I'd enjoy it or no? I'll put it in S. Uh, last is Tears of Kingdom. As of recording this, it came out yesterday. Uh, well, midnight release. So like it's official release date. It's official release date was yesterday. 
It, it was. It doesn't matter. Either way, okay. I started playing... Well, no, I started playing it two days ago. You're right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put this in S. So far, it's epic. You can make wheelchairs. Uh, thanks for watching Tearless Schmear List. Uh, if anyone disagrees with me on an Ocarina of Time, uh, kill yourself. So, what'd you think? Ocarina of Time, should have been next year. Welcome back to Steve and Sucks of Speedrunning. Today, we'll be speedrunning uh, fixing Trevor's Legos. Alright, boys, you know. It's all fun and games here usually, you know, me speedrunning a game poorly, Carter having some of the dumbest opinions I've ever heard. But, uh, I've got a big issue. So over in the Discord, which you should join by the way, um, I've been asking for months now, what games I should speedrun for the next Welcome to the Table, you know? I've speedrun Mario, and that's good, but I need some better ideas, and so I ask this Discord, and all I get are lame ideas like, you should speedrun Cookie Clicker. Oh, speedrun 4 on Roblox is really good. I'm not gonna play none of these stupid little games. So hop on over to the Discord and give me some good games to speedrun, because seriously, these guys are losers. That's all I gotta say, man. All I gotta say. Now, I gotta go back to fixing Trevor's Legos before he kills me. Because, uh, little known fact, I don't know what I'm doing. Hello everyone, it's me, Hoggles, and uh, today we're going to be doing a review on the Tears of the Kingdom OLED Switch, and uh, if that doesn't take up the rest of my time, I'll do a review on that katana or something. Let's do the katana first, because this is boring! <laughs> So this is, um, the katana. It's uh, Ren Goku's katana, the best character in Demon Slayer, in my opinion. And, uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, uh, it's not sharp, unfortunately. Yeah, we might go sharpen it. And, uh, this thing is sick. I love, like, the pyramids. I like how it looks. It's very clean. Has a nice inside padding to keep the blade nice and not, you know, broken. Also came with this cool stand over here. Thought that was very nice of them to include. Um, if we take a look at the blade here, you can see that has some cool Japanese writing. And uh, some flames, because he's the flame Hashira. And also, like, I, I, I still don't know why. If you know, put it in the comments. Why is the flame going the opposite way of the sword? But then Tanjiro's goes the way of the sword. The Lunder! <laughs> anyway, so yeah, overall, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a good cosplay sort of weapon. I don't do that, because <laughs> that's weird. And, um, uh, yeah, all in all, 10 out of 10 will buy again. And since they gave me a stand with three, like, three spots, and I only have one sword, now I gotta get two more swords. So, say the sword that you want me to buy in the comments so I can, uh, spend my money poorly. <laughs> Side, it means you're at war. And yes, I did put it on the right side. Wow! Oh wow! So it comes with this handy dandy little case. Uh, it's black. It's got the Hyrule symbol on it. It's very clean. Also, look at this guitar. 
in this little banner. That's a video. You should watch it. This I bought. Can't watch it. Anyway, back to the um, uh, the review. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, I don't know how I feel about the OLED in general. It just seems like a waste of money, personally. And also, the Joy-Cons, if we take a little look at them pretty quickly. I'm a fan of the white and gold. But I don't know about the green. Actually, it's kind of starting to grow on me. I, 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 li I like the design of these Joy-Cons. The only problem is that they're Joy-Cons, and I don't like Joy-Cons, so... But, yeah, overall, wow! Ooh, Nintendo, you're cutting it close! Not making a good impression! Oh, what? That's, like, loose. Anyways, um, yeah, obviously, the Switch feels good in the hands. We've known this since day one, and, you know, it just feels nice and buttery smooth. I love all the buttons, so clicky, so clacky. Also, they changed the button design on the OLED, and also, like, the volume buttons, and I don't know how I feel about it. But hey, big plus, the stand, again, if you play in handheld like a loser, I don't, because <laughs> I'm not a loser, despite what I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think Nintendo did a good job on the design. Overall, I do still think that the OLED is uh, a waste of money. Only get it if you're a big fan. I finished, yay!